Hey guys, stay tuned as we break down the top five school districts in the DFW Metroplex. So as we are approaching the return to school again for the kids, we are going to be breaking down the school districts in DFW, but not only the school districts, as you can see the ranking online any way you want to, yeah. but also kind of taking a look at the price of moving to those areas, kind of a little bit about them and see if it's something that you would like to do yourself. All right, so starting at number five, we have Frisco ISD, which is actually, of this list, are by far the largest school oh, districts. Huge. Yeah. So Frisco actually contains 77 different schools. 12 of those are gonna be high schools. When we started doing the breakdowns to kind of see the rankings of these, of the top 20 public high schools in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, Frisco actually had seven in the top 20. Why a which solid, is more, consistent list more of high, high schools. schools than most of the other districts, almost combined. Honestly. Yeah, if you're looking to move to Frisco, it's definitely one of the more affordable areas on this list. Again, as we said, one of the largest as well, so it's yeah. kind of a, a wide scope to choose from. The median price point in Frisco is going to be around six hundred and eighty thousand, which, even though that is one of the cheaper ones, is still quite still a ways above the national average national, and median. Yeah. Um, so for that, we looked at the national average price point in the US, which is going to be 425, and the median price point is 495. So we looked at the supply of homes in Frisco at the moment in that 400 to 500 range, and there's about a three and a half month supply. So kind of sitting right there, bordering seller to neutral market. Yeah, kind, kind of shits. There's a little bit out. There's there's more out there. There's a decent more amount out there in that price range if you know you're not looking to spend the 680,000. Yeah. yeah, the, the crazy numbers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like I said, though, so Frisco, there's just a ton of growth there, so a ton of opportunities. The PGA headquarters moved there, the star is yeah, out there. Lots going on. So, I mean, we actually have a breakdown of Frisco, so mm -hmm. make sure you guys go check that video out, because it's a good one. Now to number four. Uh, four, we actually kind of combined two. So technically, it would be Lovejoy ISD, which is going to be Lucas, Texas, kind of a small town out in the east of the Metroplex. So we combine that with Allen because they're kind of both right, they're right there close to each other. So between the two combined, there's going to be a total of 31 total schools. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're looking at Lovejoy in particular, so Lovejoy ISD, which would be, like I said, Lucas, Texas, uh, Lovejoy High School was actually ranked sixth in the DFW Metroplex, and, which actually put it at number 422 in the national ranking, which and the very highly rated. Very so, highly rated. Yeah. So Allen is probably going to be the most affordable of the areas that we've been looking at today. Uh, the median price point is going to be around 525, which is again slightly higher than the sort of national average of median. But in the case of DFW, especially, that's pretty affordable for homes over yeah. there, especially for how, how good the school district is. Downside of the Allen, I think you're going to be a little bit further out. You know, as far as being towards Dallas or even towards DFW Airport, you are quite a ways out. So. It's closer. You have closer proximity to Dallas proper mm. downtown Dallas but yeah you're gonna be further out from Fort Worth Arlington you're not like in the center of the metroplex yeah so that's kind of what you gotta look for there is do you want to be you know a little bit further away from things but still a good school so it just kind of all depends yeah kind of depends what you're looking for so we have Coppell ISD gonna be one of the smaller ones probably not the smallest but like I said on the smaller side yeah. um, 18 total schools two high schools um, Coppell High School actually came in at number 14 in the DFW Metroplex ranked 571 um, in the nation. So again, another really highly ranked the school. Still in that kind of top yeah. half percent. Um, Coppell is going to be one of those interesting areas in the Metroplex because a lot of people want to move there because of the school district specifically. Yeah. There's really not a whole lot else going on. It's quite small. They're pretty built out. Yeah. Um, the median price point in Coppell is around 677,000. So again, quite expensive. Yeah. Um, a lot of the homes can be older, smaller homes. Um, we looked, there's about a three month supply of homes at the minute. Um, shockingly though, uh, between 400 and 500, only two homes have closed in the last 30 days. Yeah, the and they entry were, level. And they were high <laughs> fours as yeah. well, and they're kind of smaller homes. I think the one I saw under 300 was a thousand square foot shack with no garage. Yeah. So I mean. The teardown. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough place to get into. A lot of people want to move there, but the average price point kind of they're pretty well built out because of their location yeah. they are very centrally located i mean they're right Super next close. to dfw yeah like literally too close almost yeah um yeah. I've, I've shown some homes over there and you you're right in the flight path at the time so that's again something to, to sort of think about is do you want to live next to the airport yeah but central located so yeah, there you access go. to a lot of areas which is kind of nice yeah so. all right so now number two uh south lake carroll isd so as we get down this list 
kind of school districts get a little bit smaller and smaller, and there's gonna be reasons for that. Yes. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, Carroll Senior ISD, so Carroll actually is split into two different schools. So they are it's like super 6A, a huge school. So it's actually the freshman sophomore campus and junior senior campus. Um, they were actually unranked, so the we went off the rankings of US News, which is where I usually use most of my rankings for, uh, for schools, but then Niche, Dot com had them ranked out of 70 out of 20,500 of Texas public schools. So again, South Lake Pretty High School, good. very highly ranked. I mean, it's very yeah, highly accredited. We, so. we saw that they do have one, students in South Lake ISD, uh, one in four of them are enrolled in a gifted and talented program, which is three times the national average. Yes. So pretty good. Problem with that is gonna be <laughs> the price of moving to South Lake. Now, if you don't know, South Lake is one of the more expensive neighborhoods yes. in the US, really. Yes. Uh, the median price point of a home in South Lake is $1.3 million. Obviously, what? reasons for it, you know, great schools. What was um, that lowest one that sold in the last 180 days? I think it was the lowest one was 700,000 in South Lake was the lowest, it was the lowest. Eight, what, how many, 800 square feet? 800 square feet, yeah. <laughs> so. It's a great place to go if you want school districts. There's some decent stuff to do in South Lake. I mean, I quite yeah, enjoy it. South Lake Town Square. Yeah, yeah there, there's quite a bit of activities. There's been some Again, centrally located, mm -hmm. close to the airport. Um, cool. You're off right there at 114, so. Yeah, so it's, it's a good area to be in. Good, great schools. Just, you know, just think if you kind of be an entry level homes, you're really not gonna. There's not find really an entry level. There are, uh, I saw there was three listings under 500K and they were all lots. So you could buy some dirt. You could, yeah, if you wanna build a house. But don't expect to be moving there if you only have four or five hundred thousand dollars to spend on a house. No. Now, speaking of expensive. <laughs> Number one. This is gonna be probably the most unrealistic if we're being completely honest, but the number one rated ISD in the DFW Metroplex is gonna be uh, Highland Park. So it consists of eight total schools, mm -hmm. one high school. One high school. Um, and Highland Park High School is actually the highest rated of the top 20 that we saw um, coming in at number four. So Highland Park High School was actually ranked um, number 357 in the nation. It's the top 0.25% yeah. of schools in the US. And um, definitely has a price tag for it. Yes, so remember the median from the South Lake? Uh, <laughs> double it. Yeah, so the median price point in Highland Park is $2.7 million. Uh, there were actually only 10 homes that sold in the last year, I believe, in Highland Park. Yeah. Tough to get into. If you have a lot of money, not so tough to get into. There were the six, six entry-level homes, I say, under 500,000, and they are all one or two bedroom condos. Yeah. If you want to live in a condo. Great for a family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, large families. <laughs> um, I mean, Highland Park's a beautiful area. I mean, it really is. nice. It it's is. one and of the sought after. And, and I mean, Highland Park is the area that is probably the most expensive area in the DFW Metroplex, mm -hmm. by and large, unless you're going to like West Fort Worth, there's probably a little couple of pocket, pocket neighborhoods that would be yeah. fairly comparable. But I mean, Highland Park is, that is Dallas. That is, that is the money of Dallas is Highland Park. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I hope you guys liked the content. As always, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out our other city videos if you want a little bit more information about each city as we continue to explore the Metroplex.